Alright, this is a Terminator clog buster I've been working on for a while. I've had high and low points with this. This is the current setup with cantilever suspension on it. Biggest problem I had was that under full compression and under heavy load, this was actually squeezing the chassis, bending these bolts, and just really doing a number on my chassis plates. My solution, I've got some rather heavy screws going through here. These are actually the bolts used for the stock clod buster friction shocks. And this right in between here, joining them together, and there you can see that, that's actually the either front or back bumper off of a wheelie king and the exposed ends of the screws are actually coming through these two spacers held by a lock nut right there and then goes into this plastic right here and it's the same on the other side and that really tightens it up acts as a cross member really I think is going to give it the structural rigidity it needs. And I didn't put one in the rear mainly because these are Revo long travel rockers and the offset ones in the back didn't need such a long bolt and I wasn't having the problems in the back that I was in the front where the fronts have more spacing spacers inserted here to bring the rocker out so that the shocks and everything clear and also on the back I wanted to keep it open because that's where I load the batteries in. And this is a custom tray that I did which is a the stock electronics plate it's actually flipped ups, upside down and there's some side plates here that are bolted to it because it's supposed to be bolted where the shocks are and now it's way down here on the bottom so all the weight of my battery or batteries depending on what motors I'm running are all the way at the bottom of the chassis and then on either side I have my receiver box and my EVX2 over here so it's all still compact like it was supposed to be just really changed up. And one thing I really do like about the the rocker arms is they really fight the squat and dive that all these race trucks have. And they have to have it because of the way that the axles are attached. The pivot point is the chassis so that you're not twisting the axles off. But still, you know, you always see the nose up attitude that these trucks have when they take off if they've got a lot of power to them and this the cantilevers really help minimize that they don't get rid of it but they do minimize it and these are GTR shocks off of a Traxxas Jado that's pretty good flex and the sway bars are hooked up on this And of course, wouldn't be one of my videos without a drop test. Not that.